To start this project, you're going to need some trash cans from the dollar store. So the first thing you wanna to try to do is get this tag off of your trash can and usually come off pretty easy, like so. Now you can leave them plain or you can decorate them however you like. For these trash cans, I have put on chalkboard stickers. Now you can put any sticker on you want. And the point behind this is now I can add everybody's name. So if I just take a piece of chalk, I can add everybody's name to this. Now you could also use chalk markers as well, or you could use something else to make it more permanent, but that's what it looks like. Now let's talk about the steps of how to hang them. So the first thing you wanna do is clean your wall so that it's nice and clean. So you need to make sure this dries 100% before moving on. But while it's drying, you can measure the width and the height of where you want each one of your command hooks to go for your trash cans. So again, it's important to pick out the right command hook, or you could use a nail if you want, but this is especially good for any renter or people who don't like to mark up your walls. So now that this has been 30 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and place the hook onto it, and now it's ready for my bucket. So this is our coat rack, which usually swaps out to rain jackets or windbreakers for the summer. And then I have spaced out the hooks on the top so each person has a spot. And now I just need to throw the hooks on them. And again, I didn't need very heavy hooks because, so what we're focusing on here is this lip right here and it's gonna fit nice and snug onto the hook like so. So here's a look at them all hung up with some of our summer supplies inside above the coat rack, ready to go. So one of the things we keep in ours is our winter gear. So I have our gloves and our hat stuck together for each family member, and then we place those into the bucket. Now it is not winter anymore, so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna show you while it's summer what some other options will be. So I like to keep our buckets close to our door so we can grab and go all summer long. So usually maybe some flip-flops and you can either tuck them in this way or put them in side by side because flip-flops don't take a lot of room. I also like to include some sunscreen and then some sunglasses. Next, I'm gonna bring back the bucket and I'm going to place the shoes and the sunscreen and the sunglasses. Now you could always get a case. It just depends upon who, you know, how well people take care of things. Um, and then we place this by our door so that it's kind of a grab and go. Next, all summer long, kids are running around wanting snacks. So pick a selection of snacks. So next what we do is get our container ready and then you place the snacks into the buckets with as many snacks as you want and then you'll hang them up and you can place them in your kitchen somewhere. My next hack with these containers is games. Great games for travel on the go. These are great for restaurants while you're waiting. Lots of fun uses for games. So I simply take my collection of games, grab my bucket, place the card games in there and again you can keep these in a toy room, in a kid's room, or again, right by your doorway for easy grab and go. And like I said, while you're waiting for anything, have these to do with your kids and your family. It will kill the time at doctor's offices or waiting around at sports activities for the game to start or at a restaurant, etc. So great use of a place to put some games and things to make some family bonding. Toys. Toys are another great thing you can keep in these containers. You can divide things up via category like Legos, Matchbox cars, or whatever. These happen to be pool toys. So if you're on your way to the pool, keep them all together by placing them in a bucket. So you'll take your bucket, put all the items in there that you wanna to take to the pool with you, or sand toys to play in the sandbox, place them in, place them by your door, and you've got an easy grab and go. Now, let's talk about some other places you can hang these at home that you might not have thought of. So another option is your door. 
So we go in and out of the store to our garage or maybe our front door all the time. So we obviously have used some extra hanging devices to help with some hats on the way out the door for sun protection. But we could also have hung two of them side by side here or utilize this space. So utilizing the back of a door or an area maybe even right next to a door could be a great option for this idea too. Now this is our front entryway. So again, door here, we have a closet here, but if you didn't, I'm sure you've got some maybe potential wall space on this side that could work. I also could have used this wall space right here to put it vertical. So again, so many possibilities in your home. And this is just by the doorways. You could use your pantry door. You could use cabinet doors. You can use any wall space vertically or horizontally for this idea. And it's great for kids' rooms, also for all of their toys. To get started, you'll need 10 of these buckets and a collection of zip ties. I am going to start by connecting four buckets by the handles. I'm just going to place them together, tie a zip tie really tight around each handle. Once I have four together for the base, now I'm going to make the second layer. So I'm going to need three buckets for this and another tool. So I'm going to lay this out on the floor, put the other bucket on top, and I'm going to use a sharpie to mark where I can connect these buckets. Now I'm gonna use a wood burning tool to put some holes right through the plastic. This cuts through just like soft butter. You can also use um, like a metal pick or something else to um, poke a hole if you don't have one of these tools. Once I have the holes made on both the bottom row and the second row, I'm just gonna connect them with zip ties again. I also wanna connect the handles of this second row with zip ties so that everything stays together. As we get up to the third row, this can get a little flimsy to work with, so I am going to use some clothespins to just clip these buckets in place while I work with that wood burning tool to create holes. The very top is going to have one bucket right on top. Now as you make this, you'll, you'll realize that this is a little flimsy. It is not meant to be a standalone organizer. This works incredibly well in the corner of a room. So you might want to place it against a wall to add that final bucket. We're just gonna add those holes, add the zip ties, and your toy organizer is done. So I'm gonna clip off all the ends of the zip ties, making sure it's nice and safe. And I am using this as a stuffed animal organizer for my kids. It is sitting in the corner of one of our play areas and they are able to put in their stuffed animals and access them really easily. Uh, this isn't great for really heavy items, but it is perfect for small toys, stuffed animals, or even items that you wanna organize around your home. I hope this inspired you to put those dollar store buckets to a new use. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.